desktop 3D printers squirt plastic through a nozzle to create their 3D printed objects. And that nozzle can be adjusted to different widths, which allow for higher resolution or lower resolution printing. For most desktop 3D printers, you can go as small as 0.1 millimeters, a tenth of a millimeter, and as thick as 0.4 millimeters. And I want to show you some examples of some differences between uh, different resolutions of prints. So what I have here are two cylinders that I 3D printed. Uh, this one here is 0.3 millimeters, and this one here is 0.1 millimeter. And as you can see, they're almost identical. Uh, the 0.3 millimeter one uh, is a little bit rougher. You can see some of those lines a little bit more easily, but the 0.1 millimeter is a little smoother. That said, you know, if you're working with these on a table, if this is part of some little miniature setup, you're not going to be able to notice that difference at a table. So 0 0.2, 0 0.3 millimeters is going to be fine for a very simple object like this. So now let's look at some objects with more detail in them, not as simple in shape. So here are some miniatures you might use in tabletop gaming. This one is lower resolution, it's at 0.3 millimeters, while this one is higher resolution, 0.1 millimeter. And as you can see, the 0.3 millimeter version has some obvious lines on the axe and other elements where there's just not as much detail compared to the 0.1 millimeter object, which has um, just a much smoother and a much uh, more detailed um, uh, figure. Now, the differences are not hugely massive. You know, you can tell the difference between the two, the two figures. But if you're working at this kind of a level of detail, you probably want 0.1 millimeter resolution. So there you have it. Definitely high resolution is better. However, it will dramatically increase the length of your print time. So for example, uh, this cylinder took about seven minutes, while this one took about 20 because it's higher resolution. So just something there to be aware of. Um, obviously, if you're doing something that needs a level of detail, it's worth putting in the time for the print and you can just walk away while it's printing. So. Definitely differences um, and sometimes worth trying in multiple different resolutions to see which one is worthwhile for you. So I hope that's helpful and I will be back with more 3D printing videos soon. See you then.